Okay, so. This my, is a really good example. I like this. Yeah, this is more my cup of tea in the sense that I get blogging. Uh, but, you know, there's, I'm kind of uh, shrinking down 10 years of my life because it took sort of six years to get to blogging and learning about internet marketing. But I did eventually start a blog, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But what happened uh, as a result of starting a blog and building it up over time was I met other bloggers. And I had this experience one night where I was talking to a friend of mine named Michael Pollack, who lived in the United States and was the author of a blog called smallbusinessbranding.com. By now, I had my own blog called entrepreneursjourney.com, which you can see the logo there at the top. And I was just sort of writing about similar subjects. I was start talking about entrepreneurship and all the experiences I'd had with websites to that point. And he was writing about branding specifically for small business. So he was talking to me on Skype and, and said, you know, after we'd known each other for a few months, uh, I'm thinking about leaving my blog. He was more interested in web design at that stage and leaving the branding world. And he just asked, you know, what do you think? I said, oh, okay, that's, you know, that's something people do nowadays. People do buy and sell websites. Uh, and I also thought, actually, I'm, I'm interested. W would you consider talking to me about taking it over? And he was very keen because obviously I was a friend of his, at least, you know, we never actually met in person, but uh, through Skype. Um, he knew my work, I knew his work. We'd done a few podcasts together, and it, it made sense as well, given the market I was in. So um, to put a long story short, we made a negotiation, and I eventually settled on $2,000 to buy the site from him. To put that into perspective, the site was making about $400 US per month at the time. So That's a nice life. It looks, yeah, on pay, the funny thing was, neither of us, I didn't feel like I was ripping him off. He didn't feel like he was getting ripped off either. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, he probably would because he'd have more knowledge about the value of his site. But it, it, this was the early days. And how early this was, and this was a, a lovely side benefit, when I bought this site, I wrote about it on my blog. And it actually, that article went viral because it was, this guy buys a blog. Who does that? You know? So. <laughs> I got a bit of traffic and a bit of um, exposure from the fact that I just bought the website. It, it was a, a website that made money through Google AdSense and some banner advertising at the time. Now, one of the interesting things about this site was it taught me that I'm not very good at running two websites at the same time. I was writing to my site, and I'd write an article for the other site, and I thought this probably should go on my site. So I was sort of struggling of where to put content because of the similar subject matter. And the result of that was realizing that I needed people to actually produce content for this site. So this was the first time where I started realizing the value of um, putting together some sort of team but, um, of contractors or outsourcers or even volunteers. In this case, because of the, the site had an audience, I was able to recruit some of the readers of the site to become writers. And they came on board and they did it because they wanted the exposure on the site and then I just wanted the content. So they were basically small business experts, and I took on about four or five of them, and they started to write regular content. So that took that job off my hands. So it made the site a bit more automated and easier to run. And the end result of the whole process, I, I, I didn't do too much renovating. I added those writers, and I changed a few things to the site. After a few months, we managed to grow the income from $400 a month to $1,500 a month. Now, that came about, and I'll talk a little bit more about um, how you can increase the value of the site. But in this specific case, it was quite simple. We added more places to put advertising on the site. So instead of just a banner here and maybe a banner at the end of the article, we'd add a sidebar and, and a footer banner. And then we were to be able to give more um, space for advertisers so we could charge more. It's a simple idea, but you, know, you can come to websites and if you see a place where a banner might fit, there's, there's some latency there, there's some leverage that can be gained. Mm. Uh, we also did a few other things like some paid reviews, um, started to build, build an email list, things like that. But mostly it came about because we increased the traffic through increasing the amount of uh, content going through the site. And I did sell it. So. Now that's a nice multiple too. That was, yeah, this is probably the best case study in terms of yeah. really great entry price, a really great multiple at the end. And the beautiful thing about it, it paid for itself within three months. Uh, not even that really. After you know, it only cost $2,000, so um, I, made, I kept it for two years, keeping that income, and then was able to sell it once I was divesting myself of my, my blog, um, my assets. So.